something, something usually done only once a week. Ah, uh, make love. <laughs> you stud! No wonder you're not miserable once a week. <laughs> Top five answers in this first double money game. We asked 100 people to name a typical place where courting couples go. Jane. Up Dark Hills. <laughs> been up a dark hill, have you? Well, <laughs> top six answers in the second game. We asked a hundred people to name something you might do if the Martians landed in your street. Daniel. Say hello. <laughs> Martians comes up. All right, mate, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks, Roger. What do you think? Something associated with pigs? Please. <laughs> top five answers. We asked a hundred people to name a place where you would keep a pen. Marie. Do. <laughs> you want to write something so you're going to go down to the zoo to get your pen. <laughs> Top six answers in this second game. We asked 100 people to name the first thing you soap up in the shower. Alan. <laughs> you're making up your own jokes now. <laughs> soap suds. The soap up the soap. <laughs> Top four answers. We asked a hundred people to name something associated with rain. Sheep. <laughs> You're lucky. Yeah. Phil. Water. Water. <laughs> You're the star player, you aren't you, Phil? <laughs> Dave, 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 yourself, Liz. <laughs> Dave, You've been on this show nearly as often as I have. Yeah, I've got a season ticket, Les. <laughs> okay, as you're here to enjoy yourself tonight, Phil, this next selection of silliness should be right up your street. We asked 100 people to name something your car can have two of. Paula. Wheels. <laughs> Isn't that called a bike? <laughs> Paula's got a car that's got two wheels. Other than crime, we asked 100 people to name something associated with Inspector Morse. Danny. Murder. No, no, no. <laughs> so you don't see murder as a crime then? <laughs> Top five answers. We asked a hundred people to name something you shovel. Steve. A hole. A hole. A hole. You shovel a hole. <laughs> How do you manage to pick up a hole on a <laughs> You said you normally watch this show and think, <laughs> what stupid answer is. <laughs> Second question, top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name something you might do during a power cut. Sean. Read a book. <laughs> Read a book during a power cut. Let's have a look for read a book. It's there! Top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name a famous Tommy. Cat. Carmen. Tom Cat. Tom Cat. <laughs> Ken, what do you think? Tommy Gun, uh, Les. Tommy Gun. Yes. Who was Tommy Gun? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Tommy Gun. <laughs> It's obvious, with the pressure of the lights, the audience and the rolling cameras, that some Family Fortunes contestants give answers like these by complete accident. But if you're a Family Fortunes contestant called Alan Guest, it's not just your answers that are an accident, it's your whole life. You're a bit accident prone. <laughs> I'm very accident prone, Liz, yeah. When I was, when I was 14, I got shot. <laughs> in the bum! In the, in the muscle of my leg, Liz. Not you know, today he said, in the buttock. <laughs> <laughs> then tonight he comes out and goes, in the boom. <laughs> and what else? And well, I've, I've been drove for the brewery for 25 years, but I have a lot of accidents with the wagon. I let the wagon stuck under a bridge, I reversed, and knocked a 40-foot wall down. <laughs> and, well, that is all right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to help my son knock an RSJ out in his house, and we took the next door's neighbours out at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so You're kidding me, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I chopped my jaw, I swallowed my false teeth, and it stuck in my throat. <laughs> 
<laughs> Didn't stop you talking, no, Alan. No, 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 no. It's all true. All right, Alan, what yes. do you think? A bird with a long neck? A uh, duck. A duck? <laughs> what? Well, thankfully, he's not out for a duck tonight. He's here with his false teeth firmly cemented in. Alan Guest. <laughs> Alan, do us a favour. Sit still, don't move, don't touch anything, and hopefully everything will still be intact when we come back in a couple of minutes for more family misfortunes. We'll see you then. Yeah.